Whichever way the Australian election goes, it will reduce uncertainty in the system. Hector Pollitt, Cambridge Economics. Australia's GDP was 1.1% in the first quarter, much higher than anticipated. Why were exports and household incomes so important in the first quarter? Well, exports and household consumption are two important components of, of GDP. Um, in most developed countries, household consumption is the largest share of GDP, and that's directly related to household incomes. For exports, Australia being a um, relatively small country by population, with uh, China in particular amongst its large neighbours, so exports um, also important just in terms of weighting GDP. The Aussie dollar shot up against the US dollar. Will it continue to strengthen? That depends for, uh, on what happens to commodity prices. So I think there's a lot of uncertainty about that. But I um, mean, many of commodity prices have strengthened. So if that continues, then it's it is a possibility. Yeah. It's been one of the longest election campaigns, and with a final election next month, will it have a toll on the Australian economy? Well, whichever whichever way it goes, the one the one thing that um, it will do is reduce the uncertainty in the system. And I would imagine there are businesses that are waiting to um, plan their investment based on um, what happens um, and have a better idea about what future policies will be in place. So I think um, either way we could see some uh, investment that's been delayed coming back into the system, which obviously would have a positive effect on GDP. Thank you for your time today, Hector Pollitt. That's all for today's programme. Don't forget to download our app and follow us on Twitter for the latest business news. Goodbye for now, but I will see you through the week.